Hey guys, welcome to the second episode of my test world. Um, in this episode, it's gonna, all going to be with the new command blocks. Because I've been fiddle farting, and some people like to go look around with them a lot, because I love them. So first off, I've just built this little thing here. Super basic. And it doesn't really do much, but that's just what... Um, command blocks can do just change game mode and things like that so that's what it is for that and the same for that except one and then it's just give whatever I'm not gonna really explain much about using it because you can just have a look at what the commands are so for this one here it's game mode at zero at P which means nearest player at R means random player and at A is all players but one that n not many people know about is at F which means farthest players so this here is my team randomizer that I haven't finished but so like for this team randomizer what I was gonna do is I was gonna have bunches of this so one two bunches well one and a half bunches and then one and a half bunches here so six per team Yep, six per team. And what would happen is once you press the button, it'd pick random players and you either get teleported to here or another one right next to it that looks exactly the same. And then that would thus turn because this is for my game CTN. It would teleport you to the spawn areas over there. So that's how that would work. So pretty basic stuff. Just teleporting people, setting spawns. But over here I've got some pretty cool stuff. So this here, still pretty basic, it's just a warping, warping dark box to the top. I've made it so that, if you go here, it says say, but it also says warping at player to bottom. So it says warping nearest player to bottom. So that's what it does. This here, just gives you a starter kit, which is pretty good. I guess this here is really cool. Oh, forgot about the hole. Um, so this one here. So what I'd do is I'd have something like wait, give one three seven. I need to add it somewhere, like in redstone, but you can only get it for opt. So it'd be like give at p one one. So I'd go like this. Yep, and then the force field would activate. As you can see, I cannot get to my destination. So I'd make the it bigger and I'd probably make it faster so it's not that slow. But that's really how it works. So you can't get near it, it's just a basic force field. I'm hoping there'll be something where instead of it actually just teleporting to somewhere, it can teleport them five blocks away. In it, um, from this, so if I'm here, it'll teleport me like over here, but if I'm here, it'll teleport me like over here, sort of thing, instead so of just teleporting you to one place. So this here is just the same sort of thing, just a force field, but slightly better. And this here is a cooler looking version of it, and you can actually turn it off and on. So you do that, and then that, and then. So this one's like pretty much instantaneous. So once, so if you have a look, once this gets to seventy nine, so seventy eight point nine three, seventy nine there, it's gonna be seventy nine point oh one. Yeah, and then it teleports me somewhere. So yeah, that's that. Now this over here was my very first thing. I just did that really. Beacon! Actually, that's right. Is this beacon on? No. Let's turn it on. Let's turn it on. E he he. No, wait. Let's give it a couple. Let's go. Let's go. Speed. Yep. 
So I should get in a second. Yep, regeneration and speed. So that's pretty good. Oh, what? Yep, okay. <laughs> I was just wondering, like, what's going on? Uh, this here is a pretty cool thing. So if you have a look, there's three bits here. I haven't labeled it, but it's like you haven't un un ha haven't unlocked this waypoint yet, sort of thing. So then you go over here and you're like, okay. It says you have unlocked waypoint three, and now I can teleport. So it's just basic and gates and stuff, but I think it's a pretty cool idea. You could add it into a world. I'm going to add it into my CTM map, oh, and this button here. That's what it does. So you could have randomly, like you go into the start of an area, and you see one of these. So you walk up to it, press it, you get teleported to this warp air area with like 10, 20 of them, and then you press it to go back, so you could continue playing. So that's really all I would do. Uh, so yeah. Then this here. At the moment it doesn't really do much. Did I? Okay. At the moment it doesn't really do much, and it might look kind of weird to you but what it is is it's sort of like a visual representation of a force field right. don't worry about that okay is this on or did I do something I bet you the timer There we go. I haven't set it to teleport me away, but I've just set it to does that. Because teleporting away from here would be kind of bad for my health. Sort of. Um, so, as you can see, I get spammed messages. What I was going to do is using um, the new features with the Seth playing has shown with spawners, I was going to have it so. What you do is you come over here, and this is on. So this is going to be an adventure map. So you've got this big here, and inside that will be the wool room. So there's a force field around it because it teleports you away. So what you do is you come up to one of these generators, press the button, it do that, and then this all using um, it would actually teleport you to a certain place for just long enough so that all of these spawners would activate. And all the spawners would delete or remove all of this water. It would remove all the water. So that, um, what's it called? Yeah, that's right. I don't know what it's called. So just remove all the water so it looks like it's the generator stopped. And then what I was going to have is I was going to have this AND gate. Because it's going to have like four of them, one on each side, but at varying places, I guess. It's going to have this AND gate so that when all four are gone, oh, let's fill up that hole. It's bad with messages. Wait. When that was all done, well, um, I the name, all disabled, it would actually take away this whole thing and underneath. You like put redstone torches so so the AND gate goes up and it would turn off the force field, the command block. So that's what I was gonna have it do, and that would have been really cool. But I still need more testing. Um. So yeah. Uh, let's see if I haven't done anything else. Oh, those were just random things. Oh yeah. One last thing. It's gonna take me forever to get there. Cause it's so slow. Oh, yep, TNT. I was just working out random ways of TNT to see which was most effective. This tiny little hole here, can I make it? Oh, I can never make it. Alright, there you go. That's exactly what it does. 
Um, the reason it says it twice is because the first time is actually a say, and that's just to make sure. So if you've got command block output to false, it would still say it. And this is just a 10 minute timer that at the moment is not very accurate. But yeah, just a 10 minute timer that would go constantly go around and then reset the time so I don't have to type it every so often. And I think so I've said that. Can we have the world? Really? Oh, oh no, never mind. Is this still? No. So I think that's all I've really done because a lot of the stuff I want to do have, has already been done. So I just haven't bothered. Is it really necessary? I guess there's only a couple. Hmm. Okay, I was just wondering about the biggest of particles. So yeah, that's really all I've done. Okay, now that. I gotta admit, that's kinda weird. Okay. Doesn't that just look trippy to you? Holy mother of. Now uh, that just looks trippy. Yeah, so that's really all I've done with um, command blocks at the moment. The next episode is going to be to do with a lot of spawner stuff. So yeah, I haven't really done much with beacons because beacons are pretty basic. But thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye bye. That's just so trippy. So trippy.